So when Windows 10 was coming out, Microsoft decided, hey, we're going to get rid of the control panel because it's okay, but we think we can do better. And they brought out this really slow Metro app that's just kind of overdramatic, can lock up sometimes. And if you're on a different page and you go to a different shortcut, it closes the last settings you're on. So you can't browse two settings at once. And if you want to go back to that, you kind of have to navigate backwards slowly the whole way. And they didn't move half of the settings between control panel and window settings, so you still kind of have to use control panel because most of the functionality is still in there. So they just kind of lazily didn't finish. Point is, they've also moved mmsys.cpl. What you, you probably wonder, what is that? That's when you right click down here and you go to open playback devices, open recording devices. That's just the name for launching the program in system32. Um, let me do that right now. So there it is. You're probably familiar with this. You can no longer access that. You right click here and it opens this bloaty thing, which you can't access half of the settings that you can. Well, you can, but it's kind of mundane to do. Let's bring back MMSS.CPL. Let's wait. Let's not wasting time and bring it back. So you go to right click here, you go to new shortcut, and you tell it, hey, I want to execute this through CMD. I'm going to say forward slash C, which tells it execute the next string as a command. We're going to do, of course, MMSYS.CPL. You do next, and we're going to say, hey, what do you kind of call this? I'm going to call it audio settings. Why not? Make it easy to remember. It's going to make that for you. And of course, because of you executing it through CMD, um, it's going to change. It's going to give you a weird icon. Well, not a weird icon, just not an icon that's very familiar to what we're trying to do. Why am I doing it through CMD? You're probably asking. Well, the reason for that is because if you try to copy mmsys.cpl from system32 and just to make a shortcut, it's not going to let you pin it to the start menu or the taskbar. If you just wanted to make a desktop icon, I suppose you could, but I don't like desktop icons as you can clearly see, so we're going to do it this way. Either way, click on any icon or any application that doesn't have an icon associated with it, click open, Windows will go, hey man, I don't know what you're talking about, there's no icon for this, and then default to its shell32 library, which has a bunch of icons that you can select from right here. I believe there's one in here that looks kind of audio-ish. I mean, there's plenty that you just saw me go by, but there's one with a little, there it is, with a speaker. Kind of like the look of that, whatever, up to you, it doesn't matter. And then uh, you can now pin this to the taskbar if you like it down here, kind of convenient, right? It's kind of similar to where it was originally. Or you can pin it to uh, start. Come on, start. There you go. And when you launch it, a little CMD will come out and close instantly, which is kind of annoying, but I can work with it. And uh, now you have it. So that's easy to get to. You just click it and it'll run. Not too bad. Hope you find it somewhat interesting. See you next time.